Welcome to another Adventures in Film. Today we've got T-Max 100. And as usual, when the roll's done, the adventure's over. My name is David Patton. When I started photography, I wanted to make art. I wanted to be a landscape photographer. But with a family to feed and bills to pay, I decided it would be better to be a working photographer than a starving artist. So I took a job as a photojournalist. 25 years and thousands of assignments later, it was time to go back to my first love. It was time to follow my passion. Come along on my journey to become the best black and white photographer I can be. Whether it be film or digital, I will be sharing what I learned through my successes and my failures in hopes to inspire and educate. This is my journey. This is right in the edge. Today, I'm starting my adventure in the Oregon Coast Range. I'm on the East Rim Trail of Mary's Peak. Not sure what I'm going to find in these woods. We had a dusting of snow. I don't know if I can use that for my favor or not. We will see. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm not sure how far I'm gonna go up this trail. I uh, didn't expect to really to be seeing snow this low. Coast range is typically pretty, pretty good year round. We just uh, got a little bit of snow last night. Not too bad to drive in. But we're gonna see what's up here. Hopefully I can find something to photograph. If I don't finish this roll of film today, the adventure continues tomorrow. I'm trying to figure out a composition here. It's, it's fairly cluttered. I'm thinking about using this kind of one tree as it's kind of the anchor point for the, for the composition. I really like the kind of dusting of uh, snow on these leaves. And I do kind of like the, the almost the kind of a, the backdrop of all these other trees. It's uh, helps to add a lot of depth to the image. I'm just not sure if I can make a composition that has balance. So I'm gonna try to get myself in there without getting too <laughs> Too, too wet. I think it looks pretty good. I think I'm going to open this up just a little bit to make sure I get the uh, darker elements with enough detail. The light's pretty even right now, so I'm just going to overexpose this, I think, for about probably about half stop. I, I tend to overexpose just a little bit anyway with negative film. If, if you're interested in the settings, what I've got going here is about a two second exposure at between well, F16. F22, kind of going back and forth between the two. I think I'm gonna shoot a couple frames. Bracket this one just a little bit because the light keeps changing pretty quickly. It all of a sudden got kind of dark in here, so um, I'm probably gonna to have to change my exposure <laughs> on my on my next frame. Well, I'm looking for another shot. I thought we'd have a little chat. I 
probably talk too much. It's part of that's part of the uh, connecting with the artist. Still haven't figured this YouTube thing out. The main reason I started my YouTube channel in the first place was to connect with an audience that might find something in my work, in my photography, that that they like or drawn to, are drawn to. And I thought YouTube might be a kind of a good way to see who this person is behind the artwork, behind the photography. Trying to navigate through it as you know, it's easy to get sucked in by the numbers or the lack of, <laughs> in my case. Videos like this one won't get a lot of views. That's just the way it is. When I go out and make photos, those videos are starting to be watched. But these are the kind of videos I like to make the most because they're really the best representation of who I am as a photographer right now. So I was thinking when I'm doing these videos to highlight who it is that I'm, I'm watching right now on YouTube. Since this is a YouTube thing, who, who am I uh, uh, watching? Who's inspiring me? to uh, spend 10 to 20 minutes watching on YouTube. So from time to time, I'd like to highlight in my videos who I'm, or mention anyway, who I'm watching. I mean, my channel's so small, it's not like they need, need me to <laughs> send viewers their way. Um, so today, I'm watching gentleman in the UK named Steve, I can't I butcher his last name, Onion, Onion, <laughs> Steve Onion. He has uh, about 15,000 subscribers. Not a huge channel. I really connect with his work. I really seem to uh, connect with him as an artist. He's a, he seems to be Pretty hard-working photographer. Shoots a lot of film. He does digital as well. There are some of his sensibilities in photography line up with mine when it comes to things like sharpness. Although he tends to like his grain a little more than I do. That's okay. <laughs> so if you're wanting to be inspired and you want to see some some really good film oriented landscape videos. Give them out, check them out. Yeah, it might be worth your time to uh, have a look. Woodland photography, man. <laughs> it can be so challenging. Here's the scene right here. I gotta make a photo. <laughs> I don't know, what do you think? There's gotta be a shot here. Kinda waiting for the light to even out just a little bit. Kinda some hot spots on some of these trees. I moved forward about, probably about 10 feet from where I initially stopped and looked around. Just, it's, it's like a cathedral. <laughs> it's uh, uh, almost feels like a a big place of worship, you know. Oh. I think the light's about right. I think I'm gonna take the picture. <laughs> Trying to find some uh, 
detail shots with the snow on the foliage in a protected area where the wind's not too bad. I haven't found the shot just yet. I need to be able to isolate it from the background. I'm afraid that the snow is going to melt before I find my shot. I still haven't found my detail shot yet. I was kind of attracted to this trail shot. Once again, I'm exploiting what what, they're, what this woods is offering. What it's really offering me is a lot of really straight trees. So that's going to make up a lot of my compositions today. Just something about being in the middle of these trees. These, they're just, this stand of trees just really does it for me. This shot here is with a normal focal length. I've got 75 millimeter on here. Compressing this, the trees just a little bit more than with the wide angle lens. And it's coming down pretty good now. It looks to be frozen, which is fine because I'd rather have that be frozen than get all wet. It looks more like ice pellets and sleet than it does snow. Well, it's all starting to look the same to me now. <laughs> Not seeing a lot of compositions. It's just uh, a little bit too uh, too much chaos in here. What I think I'm going to do, so I'm getting kind of hungry, and I'd like some coffee. I'm going to work my way back to the car and then drive around a little bit. I, I saw a few shots in this roll. And see if I can find something uh, on this road that I drove up I passed a few potential shots on the way up, so I'd kind of like to save a couple shots just to make sure I uh, there wasn't something cool down there that I passed on the way up here. Well, I'm going to end this video right here. The last frame has been shot and the adventure's over. This is the following morning than when I started this uh, video. It's been a, a lot of fun trying to get images to fill up this role. It truly is an adventure every time. As I wrap up this video, I'd like to remind you to head over to Steve Onion's uh, YouTube channel and subscribe, show him some love. He's working really hard over there. <laughs> I, I like to see guys that are um, putting so much effort into their videos being rewarded for it. He's out in the field shooting with film. He's incurring a lot of time, cost, expenses um, to bring some really good content to his subscribers and viewers. So I'd love to see that effort rewarded. So head over and show him some love. And for me, I'm gonna wrap up and go home and get some coffee. So until next time, thanks for coming along for the ride.